two, three, one, two, three. There we go. <laughs> Not exactly. Jenny for today's journal prompts. I watched your video on New Year recalibrations, reset. Would highly recommend if you haven't seen it already. Everything she said was so helpful and really speaks to where I am at the moment. I actually just finished my old journal, starting a new one. Always feels really good to start a new notebook. It was a really fun exercise asking yourself a lot of questions, visualizing the person that maybe you want to be, the Moya that I want to grow into. I've been reading recently Joe Dispenza's Breaking the Patterns of the Mind. Breaking, it's over there. I don't want to... Okay, I'll go and get it for you guys. This one. Breaking the habit of being yourself. How to lose your mind and create a new one. Sounds really intense and very new agey, but I think with these kind of books you the pieces that will speak to you will speak to you and you know you can take as much of it as you want within the first few chapters the idea that was really underlined to me if you can imagine a possible reality of what you do of where you are that reality exists and you can tap into that reality by kind of changing your mindset to act like the person in that reality <laughs> He explains it so much better, but I'll leave it linked down below. Um, but then it kind of got me thinking about all of the beautiful things in this world that like, take my breath away. Even just the small things, like the sun rises, the sunset, seeing the flowers each season coming back into bloom. Everything beautiful in this world is made of the same energy that you're made up of. It's a really beautiful thing to think about and sometimes I forget. Anyway, I'll talk more about what I've been reading later because I have been getting back into my reading game, which makes me really happy. I just want to thank today's sponsor and a new addition to my morning routine, Ritual. I've been super curious to try them out because even with a well-rounded diet, it can be really difficult to stay on top of your daily nutrients. And this is where Ritual comes in to fill in the gaps. They're essential for women. Multivitamin 18 plus contains nine high quality, clean ingredients from vegan, sustainably sourced omega-3 to vitamin D. It's designed to support foundational health. Ritual are super traceable and open about their sources. They're non-GMO, gluten-free, major allergen-free, vegan-friendly, so you know exactly what you're putting into your body. Their delayed release capsules are also designed to be gentle on the stomach, so you can take them at any point with or without food. And they have a little mint tab inside each bottle, which keeps things nice and refreshing and have a minty flavor when you take them. Ritual delivers straight to your door, making it super easy to stay on top of your vitamins. I have been really loving taking the essentials for women because I know that I have my daily nutrients covered. So if you want to start a daily ritual that you can feel good about, I have a QR code here and I'll leave my link to get 25% off your first order. So definitely check them out. I'm going to continue my morning, I'm going to make some breakfast and then I have class at 2pm. Ça vous va Le dos. Ok, cool. Le bras, tu vois. 
pense qu'elle est plus loin. I just finished my class. Today was it was okay. It was actually quite difficult. The model was like an order for a man. He was good, but it just meant that you could really see his bone structure and my knowledge of the human anatomy is not great. So we have a lot of books to talk about. This is not everything that I've read. Half of it or more than half of it is my TBR, but I wanted to share with you. Because as I said at the start of the year, I was really in a reading slump. I hadn't picked up a book in a while. My main piece of advice, which is pretty self-explanatory, is to just go back to a book that you know you loved, you remember, enjoy reading, to just really kick start why you think you want to be reading again. For me, that was Tenders of Night by F. Scott Fitzgerald. This is one of my favorite books of his and I just really love the beginning because it's set in the French Riviera. He just captures the seductiveness of the Mediterranean so well. I kind of think that it's going to be really focused on the 1920s glamour of like American expats in Europe, but it's actually a tragedy. The main guy is a psychologist and in the, sections, in the second section it shifts to his perspective. There's a plot twist which I forgot about and <laughs> It's just, I don't, you should read it. It's really beautifully written as well, like all of Fitzgerald's work. Next up we have Susan Sontag on photography and I recently picked up Against Interpretation and other essays. I had never read her writing before, but she was an American essayist. She wrote a lot about culture and art. Really amazing, smart woman and I have been really wanting to expand my non-fiction world. This one I really enjoyed. She talks about photography in relation to contemporary culture and consumerism, but she wrote it in the 70s. I think it was published in 1977. There was this one quote which literally <laughs> speaks about social media right now. Needing to have reality confirmed and experience enhanced by photographs is an aesthetic consumerism to which everyone is now addicted. That could have been written right now about 2024, the way that if we're out on a daily basis, if we're at a cafe, if we're traveling, if we're seeing someone, we have to take a photo to like make sure that it happened, to like confirm reality. The idea of experience being enhanced, I don't know, I guess like sharing it on social media, sharing it as maybe something that looks better than how it really was. Would highly recommend. Next we have, I don't know if he would class himself as a poet or just a writer, but it's The Way Forward by Young Pueblo. This was a gift. I am not one really to <laughs> indulge in Instagram poetry, but I would class this more as short form meditations about maturity, becoming a better version of yourself, it's a little bit self-helpy, but in a very beautiful and digestible way. I actually just picked up an earlier collection of his work. This one is called Clarity and Connection. <laughs> I really like the cover of this one though. It has chapters on self-awareness, the love between us, growing and a new life. So I'm excited to start this. Kind of just something that I'll open up in the morning or in the evening and read like one or two pages. Another short read if you're trying to like knocks through a couple books to rebuild your reading spirit. Um, I picked up Patti Smith's Devotion and I love her autobiographical works like Just Kids, M Train. This features a short story called Devotion but at the beginning and the end are also more autobiographical um, essays. The first one is actually the bit that I enjoyed the most, how the mind works. It, she talks about where she was when she wrote Devotion and her writing process and it kind of just feels like an excerpt of like M Train. I think this was published um, for a series of lectures on why I write. The next book which I picked up is in response to George Orwell's essay on why I write and it's by Deborah Levy, is Things I Don't Want to Know. I read her novel Hot Milk during COVID and I honestly can't remember what it was about but I remember really enjoying it so if you want to start with her fiction I'd recommend that. This is a part of a three-part more autobiographical series by her about being a female writer and writing in womanhood and I have the second one as well. It's called The Cause 
cost of living. I haven't read either of these yet, but I'm really, really excited to. They've come up on my Instagram explore page, like book, bookstagrammers, so many times, mainly, maybe because of how pretty the covers are, but I've also heard really good things about her writing. It, it looks like tanner than like your here. Look at that. There is such a difference. Oh, though. yeah, fair. This is the anniversary of my one and me, Camille. I'm not going to be annoying and speak in French this whole time, but. I'm gonna do a little get ready with me while well, we're gonna get ready together because I also have some products that I got in PR that I want to try. The Road Glazing Milk and I also very kindly got given the Glazing Fluid and Barrier Restore Cream. It's to try with their cleanser. I'm gonna try it. I'll try their cleanser later. Interesting. You guys know that I'm a future Jew girl so anything that is gonna make me looking like a glazed donut Perfect. I want to look hydrated. I want to look glowy. But that consistency was really nice. It's like um, more of an essence. What is this? This is the peptide glazing fluid. Maybe this is the one that I wanted to try. Hmm. I like it. Not too thick and definitely not too oily if you guys have oily skin. Face product I've been currently using is the Say Slip Tint Tinted Moisturizer. I got this in the shade 5, which I think is a little bit too dark for me right now, but it's okay if you mix it down a little bit. Just to define my eyes a little bit, I'm going to mix the ready brown and the dark brown just on. They're very pigmented. I went from not really doing too much makeup to kind of doing a smoky eye, but means I don't have to wear mascara. I don't know, I kind of like the smoky eyes with like mascara in there because it's still defined from the eyeliner. Um, just need to sort out my hair. <laughs> Having a fringe is difficult. Well, sorry, my energy is a little low today. I was doing some work and I was also trying to sort out a bunch of admin stuff like finding an accountant here, finding a doctor here, finding another therapist potentially and you know what's gonna happen i'm pretty sure it's like slightly raining outside so i'm gonna do this and then i'm gonna walk to the restaurant and then my hair will be as it was <laughs> <sighs> what did i say about the rain there we go <laughs> <laughs> peanut sauce tonight. It still doesn't taste quite like hers. It'll never taste like hers, even though I've tried to follow the instructions perfectly. 
but I'm cooking chicken for a man. <laughs> I haven't. Like, I'm pescatarian. Oh, it's ready. Oh, it smells so good. I'm pescatarian. I haven't touched meat in a very long time. But here I am cooking chicken satay. It's, it's actually not chicken satay because there's no skewers. I hope he likes it. And I made myself uh, tofu with the same marinade so I could have it. It's frustrating. I know what I mean, but there's no way you can 